Hello YouTube and welcome to Synthetic Oil Info. My name is Tom Brown and in this video I want to talk about the correlation that exists between the size of the dirt particles that come into your engine and the amount of wear that they cause. You know back in the 1980s scientists did a study to determine that most of the wear that takes place inside of an internal combustion engine is caused by dirt particles that range from between 2 to 22 microns. Now that's very, very small. Uh, and the problem is your air filter on your car that is designed to clean up the air that comes into your engine, uh, in many cases, in most cases, is simply not filtering uh, those small wear particles out of the airstream coming into your engine. And remember, your engine is really nothing more than an air pump. You know, air comes into the engine, it mixes with fuel, it burns, and it goes, and then the, the residue goes out the tailpipe. Uh, there's dirt that comes in with that airstream, and then there are byproducts that get created as part of the combustion process, usually called carbon. Uh, and those pieces of carbon also get down into the engine oil uh, and the dirt that come in with the engine that didn't get consumed in the combustion process also work their way down into the engine oil. And that's one of the things that engine oil is designed to do is to uh, cling on to that dirt and circulate it back to the oil filter where that oil filter can capture that dirt uh, and not allow it to continue to circulate through the engine. The problem here also though is, is that most oil filters only filter down to around 30 microns. Um, the vast majority of oil filters on the market are 30 micron filters and a lot of them don't even filter at 30 microns very efficiently, meaning what are the chances that it's going to catch a 30 micron piece of dirt? because most filter manufacturers rate their filters at a nominal rating, which means that, you know, 50% uh, of the time that filter will capture a piece of dirt uh, at whatever it's rated at, let's say 30 microns. So that means the other 50% of the time, uh, a piece of dirt, 30 microns, or especially smaller, uh, are going to continue to circulate. And we already know that most of the wear is caused by uh, particles that are between 2 and 22. So very few filters are capturing uh, these uh, small particles. Uh, even AMSOIL's best uh, absolute efficiency filters uh, are filtering down into the 20 micron range. Uh, so they're going to capture more than the average filter. Uh, but there's still particles that are floating through your oil uh, that are causing wear. Because what happens is that these particles start to uh, cling to each other and form a larger particle that is still smaller than the oil filter can catch. And then those small particles continue to circulate freely through your engine with the engine oil and they wedge themselves in somewhere between a bearing and the crankshaft or between the bearing and the rod uh, or you know the rod bearing and the crankshaft. Uh, that's probably where the most wear takes place is in your rod bearings because your rod uh, bearings are subjected to that up and down pounding uh, as the crankshaft rotates. You know, your main bearings don't get as much of that pounding as your rod bearings do. Uh, so your rod bearings are the ones that see the most severe wear, uh, because, especially because when there's dirt in there. So... This is one of the things that uh, we've talked about in one of the other videos about bypass filters, uh, but it's also critical to talk about uh, air filter maintenance. So the best thing you can do to help with this is run the absolute best air filter on your car uh, that's, that's going to capture those very small particles, uh, but no air filter is going to capture that 2 micron. Uh, because if it did, it wouldn't allow any air into your engine either, and it would plug up, you know, very quickly. And so that's just not feasible. So there's a compromise that the engineers of your car have to, to design in to say, okay, how much air do we need to get in there, and how long do we want the air filter to last? Uh, and so then that determines 
the micron rating of the air filter and the change interval. And people don't want to be changing their air filters every 5,000 miles. Uh, so the trade-off is that in many cases they are now accepting greater engine wear because they don't want to do that maintenance every five to 10,000 miles of changing a very restrictive, very efficient air filter. Uh, so there's all kinds of variables that go into this. Uh, and when you change one, it causes a reaction or a, you know somewhere else that, that may or may not be acceptable to the car owners. So back to what can you do though? Run the best air filter you can buy for your car. Keep it serviced. Uh, when it gets dirty, either change it or clean it. Uh, and the other thing is run the best oil filter you can find for your car and change it when it needs to be changed. If you do those two things right there and change your engine oil when it needs to be changed. Now, AMS oil has got some extended drain interval oils that uh, sound like they're going against this, but they're really not because the AMS oil uh, oil filters uh, in addition to having a 20 micron rating, also hold more dirt than the average filter does. So in addition to doing a better job of filtering, they'll do that better job for a much longer period of time before they get plugged up or full of dirt. So that's how they can run for up to like 25,000 miles. Uh, but if possible, the greatest thing you can do for your car is to install a bypass oil filter system, which will scrub down to that two micron or even smaller in some cases uh, size of dirt and get all that dirt out of your oil every time the oil circulates through your bypass filter, virtually eliminating the wear that takes place in your engine. So uh, I will have some more videos up on bypass filtration systems, but I just wanted to talk to people about you know, there is a, a wear taking place in your engine uh, that's coming in with the dirt that's coming into your engine uh, and your oil filter and your air filter right now are probably not catching it. And that's what's causing your engine to wear out uh, at around 100 to 150,000 miles in many cases when if you had better filtration and better oil, your engine would be lasting much, much longer than that. Uh, so that's it for now. If you would like to talk more about this or contact us or order AMSOIL products, please go to our website, www.minutemanperformance.com. Our email is info at minutemanperformance.com. You can also contact us off of our website using the contact us link. Uh, we're also on Facebook at Synthetic Oil Info, as well as we are here on YouTube at Synthetic Oil Info. Please like us on Facebook and like our videos here on YouTube. And please subscribe to our channel, Synthetic Oil Info, here on YouTube uh, so that more people can see us and we can help them just like we're helping you right now. So that's it for now. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you on the next video.